so spicy. Hey guys, I hope you guys are healthy and I hope you guys are staying safe and if you're new around here, my name is Linda Oro and I hope you guys can join my channel by hitting that subscribe button down below and if you guys are returning viewers, I really appreciate it, I'm thankful for you and welcome back. So as you guys can see by today's title, we are going to be doing a little updated Q&A. I haven't done a Q&A um, since my first video and that was back in like January. So yeah, I just decided to update you guys on a few questions that you guys gave me. I asked you guys on Instagram, for those of you who follow me on Instagram. Um, thanks for all of you guys that replied back. But yeah, we're going to be answering those questions. And then we are also going to be eating some Wingstop. I haven't had Wingstop in like two months, probably. I don't know how long it's been, but I love Wingstop. I love how like you can smell it. I love their french fries, I love their wings, so let's go ahead and get started, guys. So let's get everything out. So I got some fries. And then I always get the boneless, guys. I prefer boneless um, wings. Comment down below which one do you guys prefer, like the original bone-in wings or boneless wings, because personally, like, I'll eat both, but if I can choose, I'll choose boneless wings. And let me show you guys what I got. I got a few flavors that I've never tried before. And they looked good on the menu. So let me go ahead and tell you which ones they are. So I got five mango habanero wings. So this is the mango habanero ones. They look extra saucy. Love that. And then I got eight hot lemon and seven Hawaiian. I don't know which ones they are because these come together and it doesn't like have a label or anything but I'm thinking these orangey ones are the Hawaiian ones and then the reddish ones are the hot lemon so let's go ahead and dig in guys and get right into the questions okay so I got my little platito out we are going to be getting some fries I love these fries guys they're amazing so let's go ahead and grab one of each flavor. Oh, these are extra saucy. I got my water here. I love water. So let's go ahead and get right into the first question. So someone asked, what are you majoring in in college? So for those of you who don't know, I am going to school to become a nurse. And so at first, it's kind of confusing to explain because for me like to become a nurse i have to be in the pre-nursing program first and then apply to the nursing program so it's basically the same thing but it's just that like you have to reapply to the nursing program because i guess a lot of people like don't move on from the pre-nursing program because of their grades and all that um but i'm not gonna get too much into it you know I'm just going to simplify everything. So the first year is pre-nursing and then you move on to the nursing program. You just follow the curriculum and then like you get the classes that you need in order to like move on to the next year. So yeah, um, I always say nursing program, but some like technically yeah, it's pre-nursing nursing program. It's the same thing, you know, it's just that like it has a different name and like it depends on what year you are in. So yeah. That's the answer for that one. Let's go ahead and try this hot one, this red one. See how it tastes. This is the hot lemon one. So yeah. Okay. It has a little kick, but it's not too spicy. It's good. I like this. I like that a lot. You can taste the lemon right away, but it's not like too powerful. You know how sometimes the lemon like takes over the whole flavor, but this is really good. I'm gonna need some ranch though. Even though the fries aren't spicy, I always like dipping my fries in the ranch. It's just a preference of mine. That is amazing. 
Okay, let's move on to the next question. Because if I don't, I'm going to keep eating and answer nothing. So the next question is, what is your zodiac sign? So my birthday is February 26th. Um, that makes me a Pisces. Little story time for you guys. I don't think I've told you this. But I was born premature. Um, I think I was born like a week before I was supposed to be born. So yeah, I was born premature, guys. So when I was born, I had to stay in the hospital. In the um, incubator. Because I guess since I was born early... Um, they told my parents that my lungs weren't, like, developed all the way. So they wanted to, like, keep me there as long as they could. So, like, I would be, like, firmly developed, I guess. Um, but I guess it's, like, really dangerous to be born prematurely. And, like, they were saying that it was a miracle. Like, I was, like, formed and everything. Like, I had all my hands. I had my, all my feet and everything. But I guess, like, the inside of me, like, my organs weren't that developed yet. And, like, that's kind of crazy, you know, because they were saying that, because my parents have told me that the doctors told them that it was dangerous for me to, like, be born at the time I was born. And, like, to think about it, like, I almost died, you know. So, that's no fun, you know. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I'm a Pisces. I don't really, I'm not like re that into like zodiac signs and all that. So I don't really know like what the characteristics of my signs are. Like I heard that Pisces are like super emotional and like shy. And that totally describes me because I feel like the shy part is right. Because I'm extremely shy like... If I don't know you guys, like, if I don't know a person, I'm not going to, like, go up to them and, like, start talking. I'm not a conversation starter. Like, if you talk to me, like, okay, like, I'll answer you, you know. But, like, I won't know how to, like, carry on a conversation unless I'm, like, comfortable with you. Like, with my cousins and, like, my family. Like, I'm cool, you know. Like, I'm not shy or anything. But, like, if a random person at school or, like, a person at, like, a restaurant goes up to me and, like, asks me questions, I'm, like... Like, I get nervous, you know, and then, like, my face gets all red. So, yeah. But, like, the emotional part, I'm emotional, but, like, I don't feel like I'm, like, super emotional to the point, like, I, where I cry at everything. Like, okay, yeah, like, I feel like I get mad easily. Like, if I'm annoyed and you, like, you keep talking to me, like, I'm gonna be, like, shut up, you know? But it's not like I cry a lot. I don't feel like I cry a lot. Like, the only time I cry is, like, when I hurt myself. Like, if I fall or, like, trip or, like, something like that. I'm not super emotional to the point, like, if I'm arguing with you, I'm not going to start crying, you know? Like, I'm going to say what I have on my mind. But it's not like I'm going to cry and be like, no, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying, how I'm explaining it. But I don't feel like I'm that emotional. Like, yeah, I'll feel sad sometimes. I'll feel angry, but... I don't feel like it's to the point where, like, I'll push you or, like, start a fight or something. Like, no. I don't feel like that's me. I just feel like I'm more quiet. Like, if you make me mad, I'm not going to tell you why you made me mad. Or, like, if you made me sad, I'm not going to tell you why. Like, what's the point, you know? So, yeah. So, I feel like it kind of describes me. But, like, I'm not going to know how to, like, describe you based on the zodiac signs. So, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and try this one. This one is the mango habanero one. They kind of look the same because they're kind of, they're both orangey with the Hawaiian one, but I feel like this one's going to be spicier, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's spicy. Ooh, but that's good though. This mango habanero is the level before the atomic level. 
and I was debating on whether to get the Atomic or this one. And since I got the hot lemon one, I felt like they were going to kind of be the same. So I decided to go with the mango habanero. Ooh, that's spicy. Yeah, I'm going to need some ranch. My tongue is burning. Usually when I go to Wingstop, I get like the mild and the barbecue ones. But today I wanted to like explore with the flavors to make this video a little bit more interesting you know okay let's move on to the next question so i can like get my mind off my tongue burning okay someone asked are you an only child so i am not an only child i have one older brother but that's it. It's only us two. So I'm the baby. Since I'm the baby, I get spoiled. Like, I know I'm spoiled. But in my defense, I do behave. Like, I'm not out here, like, coming home at, like, 2 in the morning. Like, I don't go out, guys. I really don't. Especially now with the pandemic. Like, I didn't suffer because of that. Because, like, I don't really go out. Like, to the club and all that so my parents like don't like struggle with me you know that's i i feel like that's why they spoil me so much because i behave because i feel like if i wouldn't behave like if i was like a rebel and all that they wouldn't give me like my car and all that so yeah um i'm not an only child and like I, I don't think I would wish to have any more siblings because like growing up I would always play with like my cousins because I have a lot of cousins that are my age and then I have a lot of cousins that are my brother's age so like I wasn't really lonely all the time because when like we would go when we would like gather together like family stuff I would always have my cousins to like play with play with you know and then when it would and then when we would just be home I would always have my brother to play with so I don't really wish like to have more siblings because like us two was enough you know and then I would have cousins that were younger than me so like I would kind of like learn with them so like I wouldn't get annoyed I know a lot of people that have siblings that are younger than them and like you're not at that point where like they bother you a lot or like they annoy you I never dealt with that because like if I would hang out with my younger cousins, like, it would just be for a little bit, you know? It wouldn't be for, like, too long to the point where, like, they would annoy me. So, I kind of got saved from that. I prefer to be the baby, though. So, like, I don't want to, like, sound like I wouldn't want any siblings, but I'm fine being the baby. Because everyone spoils me. <laughs> So let's go ahead and try this one. This one is the Hawaiian one, the Hawaiian rub. I haven't tried this one either. So let's go ahead and try try it out. Okay, see this one is not spicy at all. It's good though. It tastes like orange chicken kind of. You know how the orange chicken, it has that like little kick of spiciness sometimes? This one doesn't have that. It's just like the sauce is really good though. I don't know what sauce this is. I picked some good flavors today, guys. I'm not disappointed. But let's move on to the next question. So someone asked, how tall are you? I am. Don't laugh. I am 5'1". I'm fun-sized, okay? It's sad sometimes. Because I remember, like, growing up, compared to my younger cousins, I was always, like, the tallest one. And I remember, like, I would make fun of them. I'd be like, or, like, I would, like, stand next to them, and, and then I would, like, measure myself besides them. 
and then I would be like, oh, look how tall I am. Like, you're so tiny. And then, and then, I guess, like, that was as tall as I was going to get. So everyone passed me, guys. Like, everyone. I guess that's karma for, like, making fun of them. The only people that are not taller than me are, like, the eight nine-year-old kid not even nine because the nine-year-olds like passed me also so like my nephew he's eight years old and like everyone aged eight and like down are the only ones who aren't taller than me but i'm pretty sure they're all gonna grow up and be taller than me as well like my cousins who are like nine ten eleven twelve years old they all passed me like two years ago, so I don't even count them anymore. They're like not kids anymore. And like I'm over here being a 21 year old who's 5'1". Um, but you know what? I've learned to accept it. Like before I was like, well like it still kind of bums me out. But still, you know, like I'm like, you know what? It's okay. Like the good thing is though that like since I'm tiny, like for my shoes my feet are tiny as well like i'm a four and a half in like sneakers so like i still shop in the kids section but that's the good part because i save like 20 bucks and then like if i'm trying to get like a jersey like a mexico soccer jersey like the adult one is like one 120 110 something like that and then like the youth one fits me like the um the medium or the large in youth still fits me so i get it for like 70 bucks and then if i have a discount code i'll get it for like 60 but like if i'm wearing heels i'll go up like two inches i'm like five three well like probably not like two inches but i don't look as small but yeah I'm a short little girl. So let's move on to one last question. So this video won't be too long for you guys. The last question is, have you gotten your COVID-19 vaccine yet? Um, I still haven't gotten my vaccine yet, but I will. Um, since school is opening up, because this fall we're going back to like in-person school. So... So if I want to go back to school, I will have to get it and I do want to go back so I just keep like putting it off. And I think I'm going to get the Pfizer one. I will be getting it soon. Um, I'll see if I record it or not, if I make a video of it or not. Because I don't know if like... You have to actually go in or like, I know some places like they give it to you in your car, but I'm not sure like where I'm going to get it still. So, and like, I don't want to like be like putting people on camera. So I don't know if I'll make a video of it, but I will let you guys know when I do. So yeah, oh, this mango habanero one. It's kicking my butt. It's really spicy, but it's so good though. It's like a good hotness. It's like a good spiciness flavor. My lips are burning. Imagine if I got the atomic ones, how much spicier those would have been. Good thing I didn't go down that road. Okay, guys. I think that's the end of today's video. Oh my gosh, my lips are burning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys got to know me a little bit better. I feel like these questions I didn't answer last time. So, yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. Don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon and turn on your post notifications so that you guys don't miss any of my videos when they go up. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time, guys. Bye!